I'm Wilfred from Seco Monash University Malaysia. And today I would like to share with you one of my research entitled Malaysia's Efforts on Management, Surveillance and Research of Child Obesity, an NCT scorecard project. Child obesity and also overweight has arisen as a result of a public health epidemic. And the rate of obesity has doubled in more than 70 countries since 1980s as analyzed in a comprehensive review of the global burden of disease research. In Malaysia, the prevalence of child obesity, which looking at the children under 18 years old, has increased from 6.1% to 11.9% between 2011 and 2015. And according to the latest National Health and Mobility Survey conducted in 2019, they found that 14.8% the prevalence of childhood obesity in Malaysia. Measuring and evaluating progress and facilitating action by country in the field of reducing the burden of NCDs is very essential and important. And a range of stakeholders utilize methods to monitor progress. However, only a few studies have published stakeholder viewpoint on Malaysia development and follow-up action on NCDs. Therefore, this study is important to investigate the management as well as the views of the stakeholders with regards to the policy intervention in addressing child obesity in Malaysia. We adopted NCD scorecard with four main domains, which are governance, risk factors, surveillance and research, as well as health system response. Key persons were identified for data collection, and we then selected 21 stakeholders from various organizations, ministries, institutes, institutions, university, and also industry. After the selection of the stakeholders, the survey form was then distributed to all of them through email and then supplemented by interview by necessary. Let's look at the result. Table 1 shows the percentage of progress by each domain. By looking at the first domain, which is a governance, there are nine indicators which resulted in 22.5% of progress. Second is a risk factors which contain four indicators that reported 22.6% of progress. Last but not least is a surveillance and research which only has three indicators and reported 24.4% of progress. However, we do not have any indicators in the health system response. A heat map was then used to evaluate the progress of these three domains of the NCD scorecard. Progress interpre interpretation ranges from very low progress to very high progress. And the final score for governance in Table 1 is 22.5%, risk factors was 22.6%, and again, surveillance and research was 24.4% which indicated that all of these three domains are actually fall under the category of low progress. In conclusion, although Malaysia has published several key strategy documents relating to child obesity and implemented numerous policy interventions, however, we have identified several gaps that must be addressed in order to leverage on the whole of government and whole of society approach in addressing child obesity in the country. With that, thank you.